Civic responsibility is a citizen's duty to the people and the community and how they can help and um, better through volunteering, um, working, uh, working with other people, uh, charity events. Going out, making sure that your voice is heard by voting or um, putting, giving back to the community by volunteering. Doing your part as a member of this community. I think that it kind of encompasses everybody who's part of a community or part of this nation. Taking responsibility in your community and helping other people. Giving back to my community to make it a better place for everybody. Doing the right thing when no one's watching and um, that's like helping a kid pick up his books if they fall on the floor or picking up a piece of trash on the floor when no one's looking. The willpower to help somebody in a time of need when you're not asked to help them. You just want to be a nice person and do the right thing to make somebody happy. Donating your time and energy back to the community and giving back with the resources that you have. Doing whatever you can to help out your community, um, whether that's volunteering or donating clothes. Going out and voting, letting your opinion be heard, and taking responsibility for what you believe in. They do a lot for you. I mean, they pay for the school. This school is free because of the community of the nation. So the least you can do is give a little bit back. If everybody gives a little bit back, then the system works. Staying active and making sure I'm there, especially helping out the younger generation. Civic responsibility is important to the community because it helps better people, um, people who perhaps need help. Um, is, it's beneficial to them because they have people looking out for them. If you don't think it's important to you know, help out your community, then another person might th not think it's important, and then nobody helps out the community. And the community is everybody. If one person doesn't participate or if one person doesn't vote, it might not affect anything, but if everybody thinks that way, nothing's going to go right. It, there's a give and take. So if you, you're living in the community, you also have to give back. There's so many people that are like less fortunate than us, and I feel like giving back to them really like helps us to become better human beings and like it'll just help you feel better as as a person in america right now there's still so much segregation between everyone and all of us like to judge each other and so i feel like if we all come together in a community and like um just work together it's going to make us more unified we have to do what we can to make them better staying together as a community is what makes our nation so strong if you don't give back and don't do your civic duty then uh the next generation won't really be prepared for life. It's important to me because we are the future generation of this country and I really believe that if we don't like something in this country, we have the ability to change it and we can do that if we all bind together and love each other and succeed. Just the small things in life make a big difference to the people who need it. Civic responsibility can be shown through volunteering, uh, charity events, uh, helping the public in any way. You can volunteer at your local hospital, you can work at the pet shelter, um, or you can just help everybody in everyday life. Go to shelters, you can fee uh, help homeless shelters, you can help uh, veterans. You know, participate in things that the city puts on or, you know, help out with school venues or community service hours, anything that really pushes the people in your community to be better and makes everyone work together. I've been to uh, an organization that helps uh, disadvantaged children and it's seriously as simple as putting together little toys. We went to a this, the Glow Run 5K it was to help out the Marion Kids you know charity association and things like that they're small but you know you can have fun doing it but you know that you're helping somebody else while you're there. I volunteer at the library, I tutor some of my peers, I um, volunteer at my sister's softball team. This project we're doing is about a, a buddy bench. It requires 400 pounds of plastics in order to make this buddy bench. We have different types of lids like orange juice lids, water bottle lids, and other types of lids. Like, they don't, can't be metal lids, they only have to be plastic lids. They can come from medicine bottles, and orange juice bottles, and water bottles, and ketchup bottles. The Buddy Bench was designed to create a space, a safe space for any child that feels that they need a buddy. They can sit at this bench and an upperclassman or another student, doesn't matter 
if they're upperclassmen or what, can go sit with that child to talk with them, get to know them. It creates an atmosphere of safety. I went to Loving Sensible Furnishings in Summerfield and volunteered there every morning. I run cross country and last year I signed up for the turkey trot. Unfortunately it rained so I wasn't able to run in it, but I was still able to give my money to charity. We have a lot of clubs here that you can join. Like the club I'm in, um, Interact. Um, like we do things around the community and like it gives us service hours for school, but it also helps us like um, give back to the community. You can go help out at the church or you can go help somebody shop. Because like I work at Walgreens and I have this nice old lady that comes in and I go door shopping for her because she can't do it. I volunteer for the Marion County Public uh, Education Foundation where I help set up the tools for teaching and I help um, give the supplies out for the teachers because in my opinion I think that I should help give back to the teachers of my school for everything that, that they uh, do for us. There's Habitat for Humanity which is going and help building houses or painting them or doing whatever they need. Well, you can adopt the highway, you know, keep the streets clean from trash. It makes the whole community look better. People appreciate that. Going to a senior citizen home, um, you know, helping out the older people who, you know, may not have a lot of things to do anymore and just talk to them, give them somebody to talk to. You can hold voting registration things to register people to vote, um, stuff like that, just to get, like, word out and help out the community. Go to a local shelter that may help homeless people by um, preparing meals for them and also going to, um, for example, like Brothers Keeper downtown, a little thrift shop like that where they can help uh, organize clothes. It's just good to help people out when they need it because you never know what, they're go what their situation or what they're going through. I really want each of you, each of you students to think about, just, just sit for a minute and reflect on ways that you can give back and give back to your community and it doesn't have to be something large. Know that it can be something very simple and then think about what your civic responsibility is. What can you do? 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 What can you do, BHS?